ओम अज्ञान विमरांद्रस्य ज्ञानांजन शलाता चक्षुरलित तस्म श्री गुरव नमः नाम श्रेष्ठ मनम शचिपुत्र राधाकुंडम गिरीवर महो राधिका कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अपर में मिलियंस ऑफ ओबेसेंसेस लोटस फीट ऑफ अस्मद ए गुरु पाद पद्म इतला प्रष्ट जग गुरु शिष्य भक्ति दान नारायण गोस्वामी महाराज रेंडी स्वामी शिष्य भक्ति दान नंदी महाराज नाम निष्ठ संत श्री अनिरुद्ध दास प्रभु जी एंड ऑल द वैष्णवज एंड वैष्णव इज आर गैदर्ड हियर प्लीज एक्सेप्ट माय हंबल ओबेसेंसेस वी आर डिस्कसिंग शिवर भागवतम शौनको वाच सूत सूत महाभाग वदनो वदता कथा भागवती पुण्यम यदा भगवान्खा श्री शौनक ऋषि सैठ हे श्री सूत हे परम भाग्यवान आप वक्ताओं में श्रेष्ठ है अतव भगवान श्री सुखदेव गोस्वामी ने जो भगवत संबंधित पवित्र और पुण्यमय कथा कही है कृपया आप सब कथाओं हमें सुनाइए सो हियर चौनक ऋषि इज टेलिंग हे सुत गोस्वामी आर वेरी फॉर्चुनेट यू आर बेस्ट अमंग द स्पीकर्स देर फोर वॉट एवर पैस टाइम्स ऑफ भगवान ऑस्पिशियस पैस टाइम्स ऑफ भगवान यू टोल्ड यू आर नरेटेड टू यू बाय श्री शिवदेव गोस्वामी प्लीज टेल टू अस बिकॉज वी ऑल नो दैट शिवदेव गोस्वामी नरेटेड भागवतम टू परीक्षित महाराज एंड इन दैट असेंबली दिस सुत गोस्वामी वॉज ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट एंड बिकॉज सुत गोस्वामी वॉज प्रेजेंट इन दैट असेंबली He is qualified to narrate past times to Shauna and eighty-eight thousand sages. So please narrate to us what you heard in Guru Parampara. Tasmin yuge pravrte yam sthane va ke nehe tu na uta sancho dita Krishna krutavan samhita muni. Yeah, this one is actually um, Hindi version. <laughs> भागवत आह सेड भगवान ग्रेटली पावरफुल शुका शुद्धे गोस्वामी शौनक सेड ओ सुत गोस्वामी यू आर द मोस्ट फॉर्चुनेट एंड रिस्पेक्टेड ऑफ ऑल दो कैन स्पीक एंड डिसाइड प्लीज लेट द पायस मैच ऑफ श्रीमद भागवतम स्पोकन बाय द ग्रेट एंड पावरफुल सेज शुद्धे गोस्वामी सुत गोस्वामी दाइस एड्रेस हेर इन बाय शौनक गोस्वामी आउट ऑफ ग्रेट जॉय 
because he and the members of the assembly were eager to hear the text of Bhagavata uttered by Shukta Goswami. They were not interested in hearing it from a bogus person who would interpret his own way to suit his own purpose. Generally, the so-called Bhagavatam reciters are either professional leaders or so-called learned impersonalists who cannot enter into the transcendental personal activities of the Supreme Person. Such impersonalists twist some meaning out of Bhagavatam to suit and support impersonalistic views. And the professional leaders at once go to the 10th canto to misexplain the most confidential part of the Lord's pastimes. Now, recently on YouTube, I heard Bhagavatam spoken by some impersonalized person. And he was blatantly telling, he was telling that, I will tell you two mantras, and these two mantras will get rid of all your problems. He said, as soon as you get up, you recite these two mantras. Then he went on, Shivoham, 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 Shivoham. So like this. Now, what type of mantra is this, Shivoham? How angry will be Parvati if she will hear that mantra is very much at it, Shivoham. See, for example, a person will say in the beginning to Parvati that I am Namas Shiva. He will tell that I am Shiva's servant, I am Shiva's son, you are my mother, Namas Shiva. Later on, that same person is telling, I am myself Shiva. Then if he is Shiva, then what is Parvati? Parvati becomes his wife. So Parvati is so angry with such persons that she takes the shape of Kali, Mahakali, Bhadra Kali. So destroy such impersonalist. So these professional leaders are spoiled actually. They misinterpret Lord's pastimes and they tell so many things about Sudama's character is also distorted. They show Sudama suffering, this, that, walking, limping, all that. Not like that. Sudama was a great devotee. Mm. And he was completely of, considered Krishna to be his real wealth. Therefore, he was not poor. Mm. But they show actually Sudama character in bad light. Mm. So, <clears throat> so they commit offense to Sudama like this. Mm. Only one who is prepared to present Bhagavatam in the light of Shukde Goswami and only those who are prepared to hear Shukde Goswami and his representative are bona fide participants in the transcendental discussion of Srimad Bhagavatam. Hmm. Tasmin yuge pravutteyam sthane vake nahe tuna Utaha Sancho Dita Krishna Trutavan Samitam Muni Kasmin Yuge Pravuteyam Stane Vakene Hetuna Utaha Sancho Dita Krishna Trutavan Samitam Muni Esutaji Yakatai Kis Yugmeta Kis Tantati. So now Shavanak is asking Sutta Goswami that where did these pastimes take place? There are so many pastimes of Sri Krishna. In what age they took place? When they took place? Hmm? At what places they took place? Hmm. Mahabharata ji dharma shastra ke rachana karne par bhi Krishna daipa and muni varne kis karan se is paramahansa sahidha ka aramba kiya? Hmm? So you see that um, although Krishna, Daipa, and Vedavyas have compiled many religious scriptures, including Mahabharata. Then, what was the need for him to again narrate Paramahamsi Samhita? What was the need for him to again discuss Paramahamsi Samhita? Tatha is Bhagavati Samhita ke rachana karne ki prerana hone kis se praapte hai? So, who inspired him? Hmm? to write this Bhagavati Samhita. Hmm. Tasmin in which Yuge period Pravrutta was begun, Iyam this Sthani in the place, Ba or Kena on what, Etuna ground, Utaha where from, Sanchoditaha inspired by Krishnaha Krishna. 
कृष्ण दर्पण व्यास कृतवान कंपाइल समीताम वेदिक लिटरेचर मुनि हिद लर्निंग इन व्हाट पीरियड एंड व्हाट प्लेस वाज ऑफ वाज दिस फर्स्ट बिगन एंड व्हाई वाज दिस टेकन फ्रॉम वेयर डिड कृष्ण दर्पण व्यास द ग्रेट सेज गेट द इंस्पिरेशन टू कंपाइल दिस लिटरेचर बिकॉज श्रीमद भागवत इज द स्पेशल कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ श्री व्यास देव देर आर सो मेनी इंक्वायरीज बाय द लर्निंग शोना का मुनि it was known to them that shila dasadev had already explained the text of the vedas in various ways up to the mahabharat for the understanding of less intelligent women shudras and fallen members of the family of twice born men shiman bhagavatam is transcendent to all of them because it has nothing to do with Uh, do with anything mundane so inquiries are very intelligent and relevant <clears throat> so vyasadeva had written it was meant for the less intelligent people and actually it is the word used is less intelligent women it doesn't mean that women are less intelligent so the women i find them far more intelligent than men understand here women means sense enjoyers basically understand women are not less intelligent you see that a woman gets married in someone else family and still she manages to uh, get the faith uh, how can she be less intelligent understand it amazes me that how many skills a mother possesses hmm. how many skills a woman possesses actually hmm. she cooks for her husband she satisfies mother in law father in law children she even goes to work office then so many hats she wears hmm? and still she smiling hmm. so that is no question of women being less intelligent million times more intelligent than men hmm? and shudras shudras means working class <clears throat> and fallen members fallen members means actually Uh, of the twice born is there is the brahmanas i see that many brahmanas are there like north india also pachpe dikshit hmm, pande tiwari these are all typical dube these are brahmin names tiwa uh, but they have not abandoned their brahminical culture hmm, chanting of the mantras worship of the deities and only looking after jobs hmm. and i cannot blame the brahmanas also because the cost of everything is so high And there is no support from the government but anyways the brahmanas they have abandoned their worship of the deities hmm? study of the vedas hmm? so <clears throat> mahabharat is meant for such people for fallen hmm? shrimad bhagavatam is transcendent to all of them because it has nothing to do with anything mundane hmm? now mahabharat is for those who want to uh, simply Live comfortably in this material world. Mahabharat is very beneficial for such person. Mahabharat is also meant for those who want to transcend this material world because Mahabharat contains Bhagavad Gita, 18th chapter. It also has Vishnu Sahasran, which is very beneficial. Uh, Parvati especially used to recite Vishnu Sahasran, thousand names of Vishnu. Once Lord Shiva gave him Mahaprasad, gave her Mahaprasad. She said, "I want to recite one thousand names of Vishnu, and then I want to honor Mahaprasad." Lord Shiva said that when you receive Mahaprasad, you should immediately honor it. So then uh, Parvati uh, said, "I have to recite Vishnu Sasra." Then Lord Shiva told her, "Ram Ram Ram Iti Rami Rami Manu Rami Sasra Nam Tatpulya Ram Ram Paran." That uttering one name of Ram equal to one thousand names of Vishnu. You simply utter the name of Ram and honor the Shabda. Suskam parishitam bhati anitam dur deshita prapti matre na bhakta me nirtrakal vicharana. There is no hard and fast rule for honoring Mahaprasad. Even if it is fallen from the mouth of a dog, one should honor Mahaprasad. So by honoring Mahaprasad, one gets the benefit equivalent to one hundred Vajapaya sacrifices. So, Shrimad Bhagavatam is a completely transcendental book. It is meant for all classes of men. So, the inquiries are very intelligent and relevant. So, 
Actually, Srimad Bhagavatam is for everyone, all the living entities. Tasya Putro Mahayogi Samadram Nirvikalpaka Ekantam Atirudrin Ekantamati dun nidro guru mula ive yate. She vasadeke putra she shigde mahayogi, bhakti yogi that a grandmother she only get her and some other chitty. So she vasadev's son, she should do some is mahayogi, bhakti yogi. That a grandmother she was actually knower of the self. And realized the Brahma. Hmm, impersonal light. Not only that, he has realized Parabrahma Sri Krishna also. Hmm. In the beginning, he had realized he was Brahmavadi, but later on, hearing Bhagavata, he became uh, Krishna, Bhagavat, Bhagavan's great devotee. Hmm. So he was a follower of Bhakti Yoga. Hmm. Mahayogi means Bhakti Yoga. He Maya Rupi Nidra Avidya se jage huye aur Parabrahma Sri Krishna me ekanti group se anvakta Brahma ho sate. So um, he was um, completely awake from the nidra. Nidra means avidya. People are sleeping in. Uh, although many people are awake, like we see in Lucknow, people are not dead. They are not awake. Oh, they are all awake. But actually, they are sleeping because they are not knowing that they are sitting in the lap of this which Maya. Ji jago, ji jago. Gora Chanda Bod Kotani Braza O Maya Pisha Chira Tole Majiba Bolia Ese Tansara Vitare Bolia Rehile Tuni Avidara Bore Omar Rehiti Ami I know Avatar Amibina Bandu Ara Kea Cheto Mara. So people have forgotten Krishna and they are sleeping in the lap of this is Maya. So Bhaktinath Thakur, who was sent by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, has brought Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself brought Hare Krishna Mantra, which was also given by Bhaktinath Thakur to the whole world. If we chant this Mahamantra, we will become free from the Clutches of Maya. So, <clears throat> Shri Sukhdeva Goswami was not sleeping you know, like the common people. He was completely awake. And he was an devotee of Bhagavan Sri Krishna, Parabrahma Sri Krishna. Yes, Parabrahma Sri Krishna. He was the most strong like the people. He was the most strong like the people. He was the most But a lot of people, they cannot recognize. They cannot recognize Sukhdeva Goswami. So they used to consider Shukde Goswami to be crazy. They consider to be dull. So Tasya Putro Mahayogi Samadran Nirvi Kalpaka Ekanta Nadiru Many times people don't identify the nature of a pure devotee. So they consider him to be crazy. Everybody is not crazy. Those who think he is crazy are really crazy. Tasya, hmm. <clears throat> his putra, son, Mahayogi, a great devotee, Samadruk, equibalanced, Nirvikal Pakaha, absolute monist, Ekantamati, fixed in monism of oneness of mind. Unnidra, surpassed nation. Mudha, not exposed. Mudha, you are like, <clears throat> appears like. His Vasudev's son was a great devotee. Equibalanced monist, whose mind was always concentrated in monism. He was transcendental to mundane activities, but being unexposed, he appeared like an ignorant person. He should have he was a liberated soul. And as he remained always alert not to attract the Bhagavad Gita, this alertness is very lucidly explained. The liberated soul and the conditioned soul have different engagements. 
the liberated soul is always engaged in the progressive path of spiritual attainment which is something like a dream for the conditioned soul the conditioned soul cannot imagine the actual engagement of the liberated soul when the conditioned soul thus dreams about spiritual engagements the liberated soul is awake similarly the engagement of a conditioned soul appears to be a dream for the liberated soul a conditioned soul and a liberated soul may apparently be on the same platform but actually they are differently engaged and their attention is always alert either in sense enjoyment or in self realization the conditioned soul is absorbed in matter whereas the liberated soul is completely integrated in matter this difference is explained as follows दृष्टवानुयांत मृषिमात्मज पाग्नग्न दिव्योरिता परिपूर्ण सुत चिथम तद्वीक्ष पृछति मनो जगदुस्तवास्ति स्त्री पुंगी दान तो सुत विविक्त दृष्टि जब श्री शिवदेव गोस्वामी ने नग्नावस्था में ही संन्यास के लिए वन की ओर गमन किया तो उन्हें देखकर चलक क्रीड़ा मृत अप्सराओं ने अपने अंगों को वस्त्र से नहीं ढका परंतु श्री सिद्धेव जी का पीछा करते हुए वस्त्र उनके पिता श्री व्यासदेव को देखकर उन स्त्रियों ने लज्जा से अपने वस्त्र पहन लिए तो श्री सुखदेव गोस्वामी वॉज बोर्न फ्रॉम द वूम ऑफ इज मदर अतिथि का देवी इस फादर्स नेम वॉज व्यासदेव ही एसन एज वॉज बोर्न इन वेट फॉर इवन इज अम्बेडकर कॉट टू बी कट नेकेड ही रैन टू टेक सन्यास द फॉरेस्ट He renounced the world and ran naked to the forest. His umbilical cord dang dangling around his navel. Many apsaras they were sporting in the waters. Not only apsaras they were sporting naked in the water. <clears throat> there are certain areas in India where there are certain areas where. Uh, So no problem. That was reserved for the women, and uh, there these apsaras, beautiful heavenly damsels, celestial damsels, were bathing naked. When they saw Shri Goswami, they didn't get clothes on their body. But when they saw uh, Shri Goswami was naked, but they didn't feel any shyness being naked in his presence. But when they saw that his father, as if they were wearing full clothes. Very elderly person, uh, elderly incarnation of Bhagwan, walking past these apsaras, all those apsaras felt so much shyness. They all put on clothes. So, seeing these wonderful uh, incidents, she asked them to inquire from those celestial damsels. Then the celestial damsels apsaras replied. you have this mood of distinction that this person is a male this person is a female but your son doesn't have such distinction mm. means your son is endowed with the pure vision holy vision transcendental vision pious vision and the women have a special characteristics especially the apsaras they have a special characteristics they can look into someone's eyes and they can immediately understand the moods in the heart of any person generally speaking a woman how that special ability that if you someone looks at women lustily they immediately recognize that this person has lust in them and if someone is looking with a pure intent then they will also sense that he is having purity in the heart women have given have been given Special ability by Bhagwan. So your son's eyes we examined, and he has no lust. Understand? So we could sense that he has pure heart. So we felt no shyness in his presence because he doesn't even know that this this person is a boy and this person is a girl. He doesn't know the. He doesn't see the difference. Hmm? Hmm. Dushtu Abhay Singh, a 
अनुयांतम फॉलोइंग रुशिम सेज आत्मजम हिज सन अपी इन स्पाइट ऑफ अनगनम नॉट नेकेड देव्या ब्यूटीफुल डांसर्स रिया आउट ऑफ शाइनेस परी ददमुह कवर्ड द बॉडी न नॉट सुतस्य ऑफ द सन चित्रम अस्टोनिशिंग तत विक्ष्य बाय सीइंग दैट पृच्छति आस्किंग मुनो इनटू द मुनि व्यास जगदु रिप्लाइड तव योर अस्ति देयर आर स्त्री पुम मेल एंड फीमेल विदा डिफरेंसेस न नॉट टू बट सुतस्य ऑफ द सन विविक्ता प्यूरिफाइड पृष्टे ऑफ वाइल्ड शी व्यासदे वाज फॉलोइंग हिज सन ब्यूटीफुल यंग डांसर्स हु वर बेदिंग नेकेड कवर्ड देयर बॉडीज विद क्लॉथ Although she was the himself was not naked, but they had not done so when his son had passed. The sage inquired about this, and the young ladies replied that his son was purified, and when looking at them, made no distinction between male and female, but the sage made such distinctions. In the Bhagavad Gita 5.18, it is said that a learned sage looks equally on a learned and gentle Brahmin. A chandal, a dog eater, and a dog and a or a cow due to his spiritual vigor. Shri Shukdev Goswami attained that stage. As he did not see a male or female, he saw all living entities in different dress. The ladies who were bathing could understand the mind of a man simply by studying his. Just as looking at a child, one can understand the person he is. The same was a young boy, 16 years old, and therefore all the parts of his body were developed. He was naked also. So were the ladies. But because Shukdev Goswami was transcendental to sex relations, he appeared very innocent. The ladies, by their speech, the ladies by their special quality, could sense. गोविंद जय जय गोपाल जय राधा मनोहरि गोविंद गोविंद जय जय हरे कृष्ण लेडीज बाय देयर स्पेशल क्वालिफिकेशंस कुड सेंस दिस एट वंस एंड देयरफॉर दे वर नॉट वेरी कंसर्न्ड अबाउट हिम बट व्हेन हिज फादर पास्ड द लेडीज क्विकली ड्रेस्ड द लेडीज वर एग्जैक्टली लाइक हिज चिल्ड्रन और ग्रैंडचिल्ड्रन बट दे रीच्ड बट दे रिएक्टेड टू द प्रेजेंस ऑफ व्यासदेव अकॉर्डिंग टू द सोशल कस्टम बिकॉज शी गेट्स देयर because she has to play the part of a householder a householder has to distinguish between a male and female otherwise he cannot be a householder one should therefore attempt to know the distinction between body and soul without any attachment for male and female as long as such um, distinction is there one should not try to become a sanyasi like shukdev goswami at least theoretically one must be convinced that a living entity is neither male nor female the outward dress is made of matter by material nature to attract the opposite sex and thus keep one entangled in material existence a liberated soul is above this perverted distinction he does not distinguish between one living being and another for him they are all one and the same spirit the perfection of this spiritual vision is the liberated stage and shri shukdev goswami attained that stage shri vyasadev was also in the transcendental stage but he was in the householder's life i he did not pretend to be a liberated soul as a matter of custom so householders they follow some etiquette but shukdev goswami was paramahansa so he didn't see much distinction uh, between man and woman vyasadev also no less Yes, so they also was no less. 
but he was a householder so he exhibited in this particular mood कथम महालक्षिता पौरे सरकाता गुरुजांगला मत मुख चढ़वसिन चरण गज साहे इसी अवस्था में शिष्य गोस्वामी ने पहले गुरु और जांगल प्रदेश में भ्रमण किया इसके बाद वे हसनापुर में कभी पागल की भांति तो कभी गुंगे और कभी मूड की चरण किया करते थे ये सूची उस समय हस्तिनापुर के वासियों ने उन्हें किस प्रकार पहुंचा हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्णा कृष्णा कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे Krishna, 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 Hare, 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 Rama, Hare, Rama, Rama, Hare, Hare. Shri Shukde Goswami first wandered in the areas of Kuru and Jangal. There are two regions. After this, Sometimes he wandered like a crazy person. And sometimes he wandered like a dumb and deaf person in Hastinapur. Hey Sutaji Usame Hastinapur ke Vasini on a kiss prakar pachana. So how did the residents of Hastinapur recognize should they go sorry at that time? The question by Shonak Muni to Sutta. How did they recognize Shukde Goswami? Katham Alakshita Pauram Katham Alakshita Paure Samprapta Kuru Jangala Unmatta Mukhada Vicharan Gajasahayin Katham Alakshita Paure Samprapta Kuru Jangala Unmatta Mukhada Jadava Charanga Jasahayin Katham How Alakshitaha Recognized Paurehi by the citizens Samprapta reaching Kuru Jangalan, the Kuru Jangal province. Look, Jodava stunted, which are wandering Gajasahavani Hastinapur. How was Shishudde Goswami the son of Gas recognized by the presence when he entered the city of Hastinapur or Delhi after wandering in the province of Kuru and Jangal? Appearing like a madman, tough and retarded. The present city of Delhi was formerly known as Hastinapur because it was first established by King Hasti. Goswami Shukade, leaving his criminal home, was roaming like a madman, and therefore it was difficult for the citizens to recognize him in his exalted position. Sage is not therefore recognized uh, by slight, by sight, but by hearing. One should approach a sadhu and say, it's not to see, but to hear. If one is prepared to hear the words of a sadhu, there is no profit. <clears throat> Shukdev Goswami was a sadhu who could speak on the transcendental activities of the Lord. He did not satisfy the whims of ordinary citizens. He was recognized when he spoke on the subject of Bhagavatam. And he never attempted to be like a magician. Outwardly, he appeared to be a retarded, dumb madman. But in fact, he was the most elevated transcendental personality. Katham va pandave asya rajar shir munina saha samvada samabhutata yatraisha satvati shuti. Katham va pandave asya 
पांडवे ऐसे भेद ज्ञान से रहित महामुनि श्री सुखदेव के साथ पांडव वंश के राजर्षि परीक्षित का कैसा वार्तालाप हुआ जिसके फल स्वरूप यह भागवती संहिता प्रकट हुई सो इज आस्किंग सुत गोस्वामी That Mahamuni, the great sage Sri Shukdev Goswami, is completely free from the knowledge of distinction between man and woman. Uh, he is completely elevated person. How did this great sage Shukdev Goswami uh, meet the king of Pandava dynasty, Sri Parikshit Maharaj? And due to this meeting, the result of this wonderful meeting. Was the manifestation of Bhagavati Sambhavi? So, if Shukdev had not met Parichit Maharaj, and if Parichit Maharaj had not met Shukdev Goswami, their mutual meeting alone uh, manifested this great Samhita, Bhagavat Samhita, Shri Maham Bhagavat Puran, which bestows complete auspiciousness and welfare on the living entities. So, this question is now asked. Question: Pratham, how is it? वा आल्सो पांडवेस ऑफ द डिसेंडेंट ऑफ पांड राजर्षि ऑफ द किंग हु वाज अ सेज मुनिना विद द मुनि सह विद संवाद डिस्कशन सब ठीक है स्टार्ट और डार्ले यत्र Satvati, essence of the Vedas. How how did it so happen that King Parikshit made this great sage, making it possible for this great transcendental essence of the Vedas, Bhagavatam, to be sung to him? Bhagavatam is stated here in here as it is not an imaginary story as it sometimes is. Is also called Shukla Samhita, or the Vedic King, spoken by Sri Shukla Goswami, the great liberated sage. So go do hana matram hi, bruheshu bruhme dinam. अवेक्षते परम भाग्यवान श्री शिवदेव गोस्वामी गृहस्थ के घर के द्वार पर शिक्षा के चल से वही ही देर रुकते थे इतनी देर में एक गाय तो ही जाती है शिवदेव गोस्वामी इज कंसिडर्ड मोस्ट टू स्टे इन दाउस ऑफ द हाउस होल्डर्स टाइम इट टेक्स टू मिल्क हाउ So he wanted to bake some milk from the shoulders. The purpose behind baking milk from the shoulders was to educate the householders in the country and to purify their houses. Tirthi kurvas tada ashrama. This place also an ashrama. This place is not sent with a petition. And there, the Shukdev Goswami wanted to purify their houses and make them holy places of pilgrimage. महाभागाथी one last for me the ashram and the residence he shukdev goswami was accustomed to stay at the door of a householder only long enough for a cow to be milked and he did this just to simplify the residence shukdev goswami met emperor parikshit 
and explain the text of Srimad Bhagavatam. He was not accustomed to stay at any householder's residence for more than half an hour hmm. at the time of milking the cow. And he would just take arms from the fortunate householders. That was to sanctify the residence of his auspicious, by his auspicious presence. Therefore, Shruta Goswami is an ideal preacher. Hmm. Established in the transcendental position from his activities, those who are in the renounced order of life and dedicated to the mission of preaching, the message of God it should learn that they have no business with householders save and accept to enlighten them in transcendental knowledge. So, the asking for arms from the householder should be for the purpose of sanctifying his. One who is in the renounced order of life should not be allured by the glamour of the householder's world traditions and thus become subservient to worldly man. But one who is in the renounced order of life, this is much more dangerous than drinking poison and committing suicide. Avimanyu sutam suta prahur bhagvato uttamam tasya janma mahasharyam karmani chagruhinina. Avimanyu sutam prahur bhagvato uttamam tasya janma mahasharyam karmani chagruhinina. Hey Sutta Goswami, we have heard that Abhimanyu Putra Parikshit ko Mahabhagavata ar Bhagavan ka bada premi maante te. So now he is telling, O Sudha Goswami, we have heard that the son of Abhimanyu, son of Abhimanyu Parikshit Maharaj, he was a great devotee of Bhagavan Sri Krishna, and he was a great lover of Sri Krishna. So please narrate to us the wonderful birth and activities of that great devotee, King Parikshit. It is said that Maharaj Parikshit uh, Abhimanyu Sutta, the son of Abhimanyu Sutta, O Sutta Prabhu, it is said to be Bhagavad Uttamam, the first class devotee of the Lord. Tasya, he is Janma, birth, Mahashtya, very wonderful. Karamani activities, Cha and Grini, he, please speak to him. Uh, it is said that Maharaj is the great first class devotee of the Lord and that his work and activities are all wonderful. Please tell us about him. The birth of Maharaj Parikshit is wonderful because in the womb of his mother he was protected by the personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna. His activities are also wonderful because he chastised Kali was attempted to kill cows means to end human civilization. He wanted to protect the cow from being killed by the great representative of sin. His death is also wonderful because he got um, previous notice of his death, which is wonderful for any mortal being. And thus he prepared himself for passing away by sitting down on the bank of the Ganges and hearing the transcendental activities. The Lord, during all the days he heard Bhagavatam, he did not take food or drink, nor did he sleep a moment. So everything about him is wonderful and his activities are worthy hearing attentively. The desire is expressed herein to hear about him in detail. Sasamrat kasyavaheto Pandu nam manavardhana prayopavishto gangayam anadritya diraj shriyam. Raja diraj parikshit pandu vamshike gauru, the king of all kings, the greatest of the kings, the emperor of all the kings, parikshit maharaj, was the honor and great the glory of the dynasty of Pandavas. So, for what reason? What was the reason that he abandoned all his royal wealth, huh? which he had inherited from Yudhishthir Maharaj, huh? his grandfather, huh? 
and why did he sat on the bank of the Ganges River, taking the vow of fasting unto death? What was the reason? What what caused such a great temper and you know everything? What is the reason? Sarasamrat Kasivahe tu Panduna Manavardhana Prayopa Vishto Gangayam Anadrutya Dirat Sriam Sahi Samrat Kemper Kasya or what? Va or Etoho reason Pandunam of the sons of Pandu Manavardhana One who enriches the family Prayopa Vishtaha Sitting and fasting, Gangayam, on the bank of the Ganges. Anadrutya, neglect me. Adhirat, acquired kingdom, Shriya, opulences. He was a great emperor and possessed all the opulences of his acquired kingdom. He was so exalted that he was increasing the prestige of the Pandu dynasty. Why did he give up everything to sit down on the bank of the Ganges and fast until death? Maharaj Parikshit was the emperor of the world and all the seas and oceans. He did not have to take the trouble to acquire such a kingdom by his own effort. He inherited it from his grandfathers, Maharajishthir and brothers. Besides that, he was doing well in the administration and was worthy of the good names of his forefathers. Consequently, there was nothing undesirable in his opulence and administration. Then why should he give up all circumstances on the mm. he was doing well in the administration was worthy of good names mm. of his four mm. then why should he give all these uh, circumstances and sit down on the bank of the Ganges, fasting till death is astonishing, and therefore, all were eager to know the cause. All the opponent kings, people ऐसे महावीर राजा परीक्षित ने योवर काल में ही अपने प्राणों के साथ उस दुष्टक जी राजा लक्ष्मी का किस प्रकार से परीक्षित करने की इच्छा है यह सुतो गोस्वामी the opponent kings in order for their own auspiciousness is to offer many jewels, gold, wealth, uh, precious stones at the lotus feet so that Maharaj Parikshit in his youth only. He abandoned that great royal wealth. You know? Why did he desire to abandon royal wealth when he was still young? So, um, this was the question. You know? Namanti yad pad niketanam atmana shivaya hani yadhanani chatrava katham savira shriya anga dustajam Namanti bowed down, yet Pada whose feet Niketana Niketam under Atmana own Shivaya welfare Aniya used to bring about Dhanani wealth Shatrava enemies Katham for what reason Sahi Viraha the Shivalras Shriyam opulences, Anga, O Sutta, Goswami, Dusta Jam, inseparable, Yuva, in full youth, Aishata, desired, Ustrashtum, to give up, Aho, exclamation, Saha, Vid, Asuvi, Asuvi, Blood. He was such a great emperor that all his enemies would come and uh, bow down at his feet 
and surrendered all their wealth for their own benefit. He was full of youth and strength, and he possessed kingly opulences that were difficult to give up. Why did he want to give up everything, including his life? There was nothing undesirable in his life. He was quite a young man and could enjoy life with power and opulence. So there was no question of retiring from active life. There was no difficulty in, in collecting the state taxes because he was so powerful and chivalrous that even his enemies would come to him and bow down at his feet and surrender all wealth to their for their own benefit. Maharaj Parishit was a pious king. He conquered his enemies and therefore the kingdom was full of prosperity. There was enough milk, grains and metals and all the rivers and mountains were full of potency. So materially, everything was satisfactory. Therefore, there was no question of untimely giving up his kingdom and life. The sages were eager to hear about all this. We'll stop here today. Hare Krishna. Jai Ho. Manjhatal Pataru Vaishya Krupa Sindh Bheva Jai Paritanam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnavi Bhyo Namo Namo. Then let's pronounce Arangman Prabhu Jai Dhani, please. Shri Guru Bhagavad Gita Jai Dhani, Radha Vinod Gita Jai Dhani, Radha Vinod Gita Jai Dhani, Radha Vinod Gita Jai Dhani, Vishnu Parash Tota, Shri Shri Mat Bhakti Vidanta, Narayan Goswami Rashtri, Nitya Prabhishtam Vishnu Parash Tota, Shri Shri Mat Bhakti Vidanta, Vaman Goswami Rashtri, Nitya Prabhishtam Vishnu Parash Tota, Shata, Shri Shri Mat Bhakti Vidanta, Swami Maharaj, Kijay Nitya Prabhishtam Vishnu Parash Tota, Shri Shri Mat Bhakti Pradhan Kesav Goswami Maharaj, Kijay Nitya Prabhishtam Vishnu Parash Tota, Shri 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 Bhakti Sandh Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada Ki Jai Nitya Pravishtra Panam Bhagavad Pravara Shri Shri Gaur Kishwadha Baba Ji Maharaj Ki Nitya Pravishtra Shri Shri Satsh Janana Bhakti Thakur Ki Jai Nitya Pravishtra Vaishnava Sahubama Shri Jadana Das Baba Ji Maharaj Shri Jai Shri Gauri Vrantha Shri Shri Bhada Shri Bhushan Prabhu Ki Jai Shri Vishwan Chakravi Thakur Ki Jai Shri Natham Shri Nara Shama Sutra Ki Jai Shri Krishna Skavraj Goswami Prabhu Ki Jai Shri Rupa Sanatana Bhatta Bhunat Shri Jeev Gopal Bhada Asuna Sar Goswami Prabhu Ki Jai Shri Shri Rupa Dhamudha Raya Ramanda Shri Gaur Basar Ki Jai Nama Shara Shri Lahad Das Thakur Ki Jai Prem Sakur Shri Krishna Chaitana Prabhu Nitya Nanda Shri Vaiti Kutadar Shiva Sati Gaur Bhakta Vindhi Ki Jai Shanta Vip Maipo Shri Matri Bhutu Mati Vip Pola Di Vitu Di Vjanu Di Modha Dung Di Vrata Di Padmakar Shri Navadi Dham Ki Jai Shri Shri Radha Krishna Gopa Gopi Gopi Shri Radha Krishna Gopi Shri Radha Krishna Gopi Shri Radha Krishna Gopi Shri Radha Krishna Gopi देव की जय श्रीमती मिनी देव की जय श्री पूर्ण मास्टर योग माई की जय श्री गोपीश्वर महादेव की जय श्री जगन्नाथ बादेव सुभद्रा सुदर्शन चक्र जी की जय श्री सतमंद के सर्व विघ्न विनाश कर श्री नशम देव की जय भक्त प्रवासी प्रारंभ महाराज के नाम के चार समुदाय की जय चार चार की जय अकल महाराज की जय तिरमा की जय श्री श्री केशव जी गौरी मत और सब पंच समा की जय गंत रश्मत भागवतम की जय शरणम सब कीर्तन की जय अनंत कोटि वैष्णव विंद की जय समागत भक्त विंद की जय नित्य गौर प्रेम नन हरि हरि बोल जय 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 श्री मा करो दया करो कृपा करो रक्षा करो गुरु 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 चंद्राय राधिकाय गुरु कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय गुरु भक्ताय जय हो अनु मन प्रभु की जय विशाखा दीदी की जय श्री पद पाती वेदांत की की जय अंशका पृथ्वी व्यस्त कृपा से मिले हो जा जय 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 हरे कृष्ण दंड प्रणाम सो टुमारो आई वांट टू यस टुडे आई वांट टू दंड वन ओ Today, tomorrow. I, today I am going to Vrindavan. Yes, yes. Oh, today. Okay. Yeah. So tomorrow I'll reach. I will let you know what time I can conduct class. Maybe nine o'clock or ten o'clock. I will reach uh, tonight. Tonight by two or three o'clock. Okay. I'll be able to reach. Let me. I'll let you know. Okay. 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 Ma, I'm sorry. Where we stop today? Today is actually um, ours was one point four point twelve. Okay, one point four point twelve. One point four point twelve. Yes, yes. So, tomorrow same time. Uh, I must wait for you. Yeah, actually, yes. Same morning is okay. Evening is also okay. But uh, sometimes it clashes with Shripa Dandi Maras. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, because now in Anandham is different schedule. Anandham evening time, no preaching is there. Mm -hmm. Anandam is no preaching in the evening, so evening also if is okay or morning is whatever time we have is fine. But it should be morning is ten o'clock because in their Anandam they give class from eight uh, thirty to nine thirty. There is some kirtan and class there. So nine thirty everything is finished. Then I take prasadam there nine thirty to ten. Then ten o'clock I can. Give class every day, ten o'clock morning every day, no problem. If it doesn't clash with anyone, yeah.
or evening is also fine evening is also 5 o'clock but if it clashes with shripa dandi mara then morning 10 is just fine yes yes every okay. day morning 10 o'clock yes, yes okay so i'll change it tomorrow to uh, 10 o'clock yeah, yeah 10 o'clock i'll try my best to reach there early if i reach early i take a little rest and then give class yes. okay. i'm moving from lucknow to uh, mathura tomorrow huh? Vrindavan. Oh, okay, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Okay, Hare Krishna. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. 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 We'll see you all later with Shripad Bhaktivedanta Vishnu. Uh, Dandi Maharaj. Sorry for question and answer. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. 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 Hare Krishna